Hello! Today I would like to look at a question of the day with you and talk about it like scientists. So let's read the question of the day first. It says, what is inside balls? Hmm. What do you think is inside balls? Do you think that the same thing is inside all balls? Let's do some investigating. I have several balls that I would like to take a look at with you today, and I want to explore what is inside each ball, and we'll see if it's the same or if it's different. So I want to begin with this ball. This is a soccer ball, and it's a picture of a soccer ball. So I can't hold it in my hands and throw it up in the air and catch it like I would with maybe a tennis ball because it's not round on all sides like the tennis ball is. It's flat. This ball is a piece of paper and it's flat. This ball is round on all sides so I can bounce it and roll it and throw it and catch it differently than I would be able to with a flat ball. Now that I'm holding this tennis ball, I'm wondering, what is inside of this tennis ball? Before we look inside the tennis ball to see what's in there, I want to think about how this ball feels. If I squeeze it, it feels pretty hard, but it, it is a little bit squishy. And I wonder if it bounces. Let me try. It does bounce. So before we take a look inside, let's think like scientists. Let me take out my scientist questions. What scientists do? Scientists ask questions. So I'm wondering, since this ball bounces, and it feels kind of hard. What might be inside this ball? Now I'm going to predict. If I predict, that means I think about it and I make a guess. So since this ball is pretty hard, I think maybe something hard is inside. And since it bounces, I might be thinking about different materials that might help it bounce that might be inside. Now we're going to watch and see what happens when we open up the ball and take a look inside. Let's see. I cut this ball open before I started recording and I wanna show you what's in there. He looks a little bit like a, a mouth, right? Hello. Inside this ball, I can put my finger in here and move it around because it's hollow inside, which means it's empty in there and air can get in there. But there is something on the outside edge of the ball that's black and hard and it's rubber. And the rubber helps the ball bounce. So inside this ball is air because it's hollow and rubber around the outside to help it bounce. Let's take a look at another ball. Do you know what kind of ball this is? It's a beach ball. We can deflate a, de a beach ball by letting the air out of the ball. And we can inflate the ball by putting more air inside the ball. This ball has air inside. And when it has more air, it's more round and more ball shaped. And we can roll it just like our tennis ball. Hmm. Here's another ball. This ball is the type of ball that you can put in water and it soaks up the water. So I'm going to think about what this ball might have inside. But first I want to think about how it feels. If I squeeze it, I can squish it so it's soft. It's not as hard as the tennis ball. 
Hmm. Is there rubber inside this ball like the tennis ball? Let me see if it can bounce. It didn't bounce like the tennis ball. So it's soft and it doesn't bounce. What might be inside? Do you think there's air inside this ball like the beach ball? Let's take a look. I'm going to cut the outside cover of the ball off so we can see what's inside. Now remember, if you're using scissors, you need to make sure that you're with a grown up so they can help you because scissors are sharp. Okay, we're going to take the cover off of this ball and see what's inside. Look at this. This is foam. It feels kind of like a sponge. It's very squishy and if you put it in water, it will soak up the water. Inside that squishy ball is foam. Now our last ball I want to take a look at isn't a ball that you would play with, but it's ball shaped. It's round, it's a sphere, and it's a piece of fruit. This is a mandarin orange. We also have clementine oranges, which look very similar. They're small oranges that are easy to peel. And if we open this up, what do you think will be inside? Do you think there's air inside this ball? Do you think there's rubber inside this orange? Do you think that this orange will bounce if I throw it down on the floor? Let's peel off the orange rind which is the outside layer of the orange. And let's see what's inside. Now that I have the rind peeled off, let's take a closer look. It's still ball shaped, it's still round or spherical, but we can pull it apart into individual pieces of fruit or orange slices and we can eat them. So that is our ball exploration. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you keep thinking about what might be inside the balls that you have at home. Bye everybody.